my name is Bruce Shane, and today I'd like to show you one of my favorite demonstrations in static electricity. It's a very simple experiment, and it's also a lot of fun, so let's take a look at what's needed for it and give it a try. Alright, this experiment's going to start with this thin foam packing material. Now what I do is I cut it into small strips, maybe an inch wide, something like this one here, and then I take tape, and I'm going to tape it together, there we go, and there's going to be our flying ring. Now if the foam's not available, you can also use plastic bags. The thinner the better. So I'm going to cut a thin strip out of this, and it's rather a small ring, so we're going to try this one. And then I have another larger one over here. I'm going to try this one and see how this one works. Alright, now the next thing I need is this long black plastic tube. These are sold to put into golf bags. And I have a plastic stopper here and a wooden down. That's going to go in the end. It's not needed, but it is helpful. You could also use PVC piping. Uh, this one's fairly long, but it works really well. And we're also going to try a balloon and see how that works. Now the last thing we need is a material to give up electrons. Wool works pretty well, but my favorite is either a real or fake fur, so let's go try it. Now I'm going to start this experiment by taking that ring and rubbing it with this fur. And that's going to deposit a lot of electrons on here. It's going to give it a negative charge. And I'm going to do the same thing to this black pipe. Rub it with the fur also. It also becomes negatively charged. And watch what happens. <laughs> I can get that ring to hover above the pipe. And, hey. So, it's the electrons pushing against the electrons. Now, let's try it with some other materials. Alright, now we're going to switch over to PVC pipe. And because this is a bigger tube, I can get a better charge on it. So, we're going to use a little bit larger of a ring. We're also going to try the plastic then with it also. So we're going to start once again by rubbing this with the fur, getting a nice static charge on it. And I'm going to rub this tube here. Boy, you can hear the crackling. As I rub this, I can actually feel little shock. So this is getting quite a bit of a charge on it. Now let's try this and see what happens with the ring. So once again, we can get it to hover above the pipe because of the static charge. Now let's try the plastic, see how that works. So again, I'll rub it. And I'll rub the PVC tube. And we'll throw this up. And there we go. We can get the plastic shopping bag to levitate also. <laughs> Up. Now, let's try with the balloon. Now, we're going to try this one last time. In this case, we're going to use a balloon, and instead of charging it with fur, I'm just going to use a piece of wool, which is a little bit more common. Uh, so, we'll start, first of all, by rubbing that foam ring with it, putting a charge on it, and we'll rub our balloon with the wool. Throw this up in the air, <laughs> and there we go. Here's our floating ring, levitated by a balloon in this case. Well, I lost it. Well, let's try it with the ring from the plastic grocery bag. Let's see how that works. Once so again, we'll rub it with the wool, and we'll get a charge on there. And let's rub our balloon once more. And we'll throw this up. Put it all around. Oh. So as you can see, we can do this demonstration with common ordinary materials. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> 